Hello everyone and welcome back to Dark Souls. I am Automa Titan and at the end of the previous episode I was kidnapped by some fairly naked demons but fortunately I managed to beat them off. Not like that you pervert. See, one of them's uh, keeping his distance because I decked him. No. That, that's not what happened, subtitle guy. No. Moving on. Moving on. So today, we are going to be heading forward into Anno Londo, and I have to say, this is a glorious view. I've always liked the view of Anno Londo that you get the first time you land here. Gargoyle, just give me your fucking tail. I just want the tail. You don't have to die if you give me your tail. No, you decided to die instead. What is it with the gargoyles holding out on me here? I can usually get the tails. Whenever I watch a speedrun of Dark Souls, I always get a little bit anxious when it comes to this point, just watching them sprint across all of these thin platforms. It makes me feel like they're going to fall off, and yet they never do because they practiced the absolute hell out of this. And dude, this is not exactly a great place to do combat. One of us, or both of us, are going to fall off. No! You bastard! Let's try this again, only this time without the failure. Just carefully walk across the beams and everything will be fine. Guardian? Guardian? Remember what happened last time? You died as well, but not this time. Don't even think about it, Guardian. I know you want to throw a knife at me, but don't. Resist... You couldn't resist the urge, could you? You couldn't resist the urge to throw a knife at me when we're on incredibly small beams. No. No, I'm not having this, Guardian. I refuse to die any more times on these platforms. Guardian, I don't appreciate the fact that you're throwing knives at me. And stab. Stab. The Guardians are absolute swines, but surprisingly, they aren't the biggest dicks in all of Anor Londo. And those of you who have played this game before know exactly who the biggest dicks of Anor Londo are. This time, I will get the tail! This is what, the fourth gargoyle we've encountered, one of which didn't have a tail for me to try and steal, but this one certainly does. You will give me your tail axe, good sir. Dude, just give me the tail. If I had a faster weapon, I would definitely be able to get the tail out of this. No subtitle guy, I am not obsessed with gargoyle tails. Yes! We finally got it! You make me sad, Gargoyle. I got your tail, but you didn't reward me with the weapon. Okay, guys. Now you appear to be armed. Not really okay with that, but... I did fend you off last time I saw you, so... It makes sense that you'd arm yourselves. Right, that's one down, even though they can fly, I'm not really sure why they don't decide to fly back up. Where are you pulling your reserve spears? Gonna be honest, if any of them actually drop their spears, I would switch over to that because I've never used a demon spear. Oh, the demon can't get to me. The demon's too fat. It can't get up this little pathway. And one of them just killed themselves. See, this is why you don't try and kidnap and assault someone, good sir. Because they'll always find a way to get revenge. And you know how I'm getting revenge on you? I'm going to stab you in the face. 
Or at least, I'm going to attempt to stab you in the face. Right. I am that bad at everything, I can't even do my revenge correctly. I will stab you in the face, good sir. No, it wasn't exactly in the face, but I did stab you. And now, we meet the biggest twats in Anno Londo, the Anno Londo Archers. When I first played this game, these guys were responsible for so many deaths. You've just got to be confident and go for it. That's right. No, no. Silver Knight. Silver Knight. I would prefer it if you took out your sword. Yes. That's right, Silver Knight. We are going to do combat on an incredibly thin ledge. Recover, recover. Right. Three, two, parry. Or not. Pop the humanity. Heal up. This is not good. This was not the plan. This was not the plan. And there's my second death. Remember my own advice. Be confident, go for it. Be confident, go for it. Everything will be fine. Come on, Silver Knight, and parry! Okay, I did not expect to get that, but off the edge you go! Did it go off the edge? But we still one-shot the fucker. Hello there, Sula. It's been a while. How are you, buddy? Good? Good. Oh, there you are. Sula is the luckiest of the NPCs in this game, really. Because I haven't killed him yet, and I'm probably not going to kill him for a while. Yeah, I am going to kill him, subtitle guy. Every NPC that I encounter must die by my hand. And here we have, in what is definitely not its natural habitat, a faceless, angry, titanite demon, who we're going to murder, skin, and use to upgrade our weapon! That is assuming we can't successfully kill it. I need to get out the door. Get out the f door. Get out. Never mind. About last time, I wasn't giving you as much respect as you deserve, and that's going to change. I understand exactly how much damage you do. I know that you could one-shot me if you desired, but that's not going to happen this time. This time, I'm going to kill you and skin your faceless ass, and then I'm going to put your skin into my weapon so that I can kill things much, much more efficiently. At least that's the plan. You may have objections to that, and I wouldn't blame you if you did. I mean, all things considered, my plan involves murdering you, so, you know, I'm expecting you to have objections. On the plus side for me, you can't get into that room. Which begs the question, how the fuck did you get in this room in the first place? Was this some form of sick joke at the hands of the builders? And he's just staggered, not dead. One more hit, one more hit, and the faceless fucker is not dead. There we go. Misjudged it by one hit. And what's this? Two Demon Titanites. Ornstein and S'more. Let's do this, fellas. No. Killing S'more first is the harder of the two options because upgraded on steam is harder to fight than upgraded small so with that in mind we're gonna try and kill little first and take up big a little bit later down the line come on arnie i just want to fight you leave your fat friend over there and let's do an honorable duel with me and you 
Or do you need your heavy? I think you need your heavy to actually pose a threat. Just be patient and everything will be fine. Patience is key with this boss fight, along with figuring out how to keep Smo on screen at all times. Big guy, I will fight you, just not yet. I want to take out the little guy first, and then we can have our duel. Fuck. This time, I'm just going to focus you entirely. I'm ignoring the existence of Smo, and it looks like the knights who are outside want to be able to witness this fight, but thankfully they can't get in on it. Onstein, you're slippery, but that doesn't mean I can't hit you. Dodge out the way. Run away. Run away to heal. Run away to heal! This isn't cowardly subtitle guy. This is strategy. It is okay to retreat sometimes. Because it's not retreating. It's tactically advancing in the wrong direction. And on steam is down. Super Small has entered the arena. Where are you, Super Small? Right, big guy. I need to heal so that this becomes a fair fight. Just stay close to him. He'll do a ass punt. Get back up close. And he'll do another one. Or not. Come on. Do a butt slam. Do a butt slam, big guy. That's all you're good for. Let's go for a ground pound one more time, big guy. Unfortunate for you, it was your last chance to get a ground pound off, big guy. Words. Words currently escape me. Thou hast journeyed far and overcome much chosen. Yes. Okay, I will come hither. Oh, that is me. I am Guinevere, daughter of Lord Gwyn and Queen of Sun. You're definitely a queen. I see. Thank you. And beseech thee. Succeed Lord Gwyn and inherited the fire of our world. Okay. Thou shalt end it this eternal twilight and avert further undead sacrifices. I'll become a hero. Yes. On well, second thought. Guinevere. Hi. And thy transgression shall not go unpunished. Fair enough. Thou shalt perish in the twilight of Anor London. I disagree because I can now teleport back to Firelink Shrine. And that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> and that's where I'm going to call it for today's episode of Dark Souls, everyone. I am Automatitan. Thank you for watching today's episode and I'll see you next time.